Express Layout Control provides advanced capabilities for creating, customizing, and maintaining the layout of a control on a form. Using this control, you no longer need to worry about manually specifying control positions or worrying about the numerous possible screen resolutions your customer may be using. In this video, we'll look at how to create a simple data entry form and use the layout control to group and organize the entry fields in a grid-like manner. So let's get started. I'll start with a new Delphi project. In the Tool palette, I expand the Express Layout Control group and drag and drop a new TDX Layout Control component onto the form. I double-click to invoke the Controls Customization form. This form is both available at design time and, if you'd like, at runtime. From the Available Items section, I click on the Add Group button a few times to create three new layout groups. New groups can also be created using the Alt-G key combination. Next, I drag and drop the groups onto the layout control. I close the customization form. I select the first group and set its caption to order. The second group is called invoice. And the third, ship. Now let's populate these with a few items. In the Tool palette, I expand the Express DB Editors group and drag and drop three TCX DB text edit controls onto the first layout group. I'll set the caption of the first text box to Order Number. The remaining items are added and customized in the same manner. To keep this lesson short, we'll skip to the completed entry form. You'll also notice that I've added a layout look and feel control to the form. This is used to provide themes and give the layout control and its layout groups a common look and feel. The layout items can be moved around simply by dragging and dropping them. Notice how the layout's contents are automatically adjusted when I change the caption of a particular item. The layout control will also accommodate item positions if I change the font of an item's caption. The control also provides automatic resizing of a form so that it will fill the layout control's boundaries. To enable this, I'll need to enable the auto size property for both the layout control and the underlying form. If you recall, I stated earlier that the customization form can also be made available to your end users at runtime. To enable this, I'll need to write a line of code. I select the layout control and from the object inspector, change to the events list. I double click on the on double click event to create a new handler. In the code editor, I'll set the layout controls customization property to true. This means that the customization form will be displayed when the user double clicks on the control. And I'm done. Let's run the application to see the results. You can see that the form has been created and automatically resized to display all the layout items we created earlier. I double click on the control and the customization window is displayed. Here, I can drag and drop to hide individual items such as the freight and sales tax text boxes. I can do the same for layout groups as well. I now close the form and you can see the final result of our runtime customization. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to further customize the layout control and arrange the layout groups into tabbed pages. Thanks for watching, and as always, thank you for choosing DevExpress.